Hey guys, welcome back to Feather and Down Homestead. Um, today we got um, an order. So um, as you can see, all these all these boxes. Well, um, like in there, you can see they're like uh, the, the feeders. You know, the feeders we use on our um, chicken hill and that. We got about 12 of them around there. They range from 8 to 20 kgs. Well, we're actually a stockist for um, Chuck Manor, so. We actually sell all them and the heat plates and all that, so this is probably like a $2,000 order. So we buy it and then we sell it off, make a little bit of profit. Bit of a sideline business, but um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. So today my wife's on animal duty, so she's informed me that there is some bins empty. I did fill up some yesterday, but I'm going to have to go do some today, give her a bit of a break. Um, so I'm going to do that and then uh, check out down the bottom a little bit. Now today might get a bit windy because um, it is very cold, very cold today. Um, down the south we're getting a bit of a polar blast so it's getting to almost I think minus 20 or something like that. Um, so yeah it's freezing and very windy so if you can't hear me that's why. So yesterday me and the wife actually um, went out at, uh, at night once the kids were in bed and um, we perched some chickens so our fiddles were um, all but the roosters perching and, um, and our light Sussex were not perching so we perched them so hopefully we'll do them a couple of nights in a row and hopefully they'll um, they'll learn that that's their their coop because when it's raining and that it's not that nice for them. So yeah. Pretty much the the only problem um, I'm seeing right now is the um, leg horns that were in the barred pen. We actually put them back into the leg horn pen last night, perched them, and now I see two of them are back in the barred rock pen. So who knows how how they're getting out. Yeah, so all the feeders are, are filled up. Well the ones I was going to do today anyway. Even had some left over for the ducks. But um, what I'm thinking, oh still enough if that's high enough. But I'm thinking of um, see these posts here that I've got for for the netting for the cucumbers and that in spring I was thinking of that maybe putting that in the other garden and um, putting up some of this this big, big uh, two metre wind netting um, just to stop the chickens from getting into the garden so um, yeah it's either that or I've got to buy some more of these uh, these Rotas over here but it seems a bit um, pointless since I've got the smaller ones already over there. I just need to kind of make them longer. Um, if you've got any ideas for me, please feel free to put it in the comments. Because I'm a little bit stumped on what I should do. Although, yeah, maybe I can put two Rotas together, make them higher. Hmm, ideas, ideas, ideas. Okay, wow. Looks like I've got some mending to do. This has uh, come off. I was actually, oh, that's what I was coming down here for anyway, so just gotta find some scissors and then um, I've got to cable tie this thing on so it stops flying off. Thank you. 
that's all done. Trying to just get uh, one little thing done a day. Definitely doesn't look too bad right now. Um, feel a bit empty that I'm not carrying anything. Feels a bit strange. But anyways, um, I have got later on this later on this week. Hopefully later on this week, I've got six cubes of compost coming, and this down here is where I normally put the compost. So what I'm going to have to do is just clear a bit of driveway and then put a put a tarp down and um, so they could put the compost on it because when I put it straight on the gravel I probably lose you know not a half a cube but quite a lot of compost that I can't use because I don't want gravel in the garden so I don't think I put the tarp down here today but I might just clear some of these bee boxes that we're going to keep and uh, and then um, then we'll have to bring some more wood down eventually for the fire. So that's pretty much just bee frames and some old wood from up the top and you can see our um, stack of uh, bee boxes over there so they're going to be um, in the kids garden for potatoes so imagine a potato that but you reckon a potato would grow that big let's get a bit closer right eh? you reckon me and the kids can get a potato to grow this big about a, a meter and a half? What do you reckon? I reckon challenge is on. I've got some more bee boxes, so maybe they can do a bit of a competition. I have got some, uh, once I get the garden going, I have got some competitions for them. Cause I'm gonna put like a big, uh, a big post or something, well, pipe going from one garden to the other garden and I'm gonna give them a, maybe a bean race so they can, you know, see who can get to the top or the other guard on the fastest so this might be another cool idea for them um, coming up you know gotta gotta make them want a garden even if they don't want to but uh, normally um, at Dina and Declan uh, the kind of kids that uh, as long as I don't get too involved they will um, go hard at the garden it's uh, when I start taking over a little bit of their stuff they uh, they do not want me near the garden. <laughs> so I've just got to ease back just a little bit. But um, yeah, I've got to actually build the garden first. I've got to get some tin. So I'm going to get some tin very soon. Look at these sparrows. Sparrows are demolishing the duck food. Unbelievable. But yeah, I've got to get some tin and then I can get on to their uh, their garden beds because um yeah I've got a bit of time anyway it's not spring yet but um talking of ducks um we've actually got a new food supplier for our food normally we go with uh western milling but we're going to try out sharpies um it's a bit cheaper and um hopefully the same kind of quality so we'll try them out what do you reckon you reckon they uh you reckon they sell pig food too yeah, but it's getting a bit muddy in there. Still got plenty of grass, but um, there was a lot of mud. Normally, we'd let them out with the with the goats over there, but um, since Sophie and Penelope are due any day, even though I said that three weeks ago, um, we don't want any scenarios like last time of the pigs eating the baby goats. So. They're definitely not going through that white tape I put up a couple of weeks ago. So that's good. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the babies and then the piggies can go join the goats. Once the babies are a little bit bigger, we'll see.
But yeah, today's just a bit of a walk around and uh, yapping. We haven't really um, got much on today, so seem to be doing more talking than working. But it's my wife's animal day, so that's why I'm not really doing much. So I'm going to leave it there. It's probably a short vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Luke, out. Oh.